the anatomical prostate model and self-contained HOLEP simulator developed at Kansai University, Japan, enables a realistic HOLEP simulation experience. A real-life Holmium laser and surgical instruments are used. The model has a viru, one median and two lateral lobes and a surgical plane between the lobes and the capsule. First, inspect the anatomy and in particular the mucosal groove around the lobe. With the fibre at the level of the viru, make an incision into the prostate laterally and follow the line that curves around the outside of the lobe. Rotate the scope and fibre up and around in an anti-clockwise direction whilst lasering around the outside of the lobe. Repeat this smooth arc of dissection, cutting deeper with each pass. Soon you will enter the plane between the capsule and the adenoma. In this model, you can recognize the surgical plane because it is lighter in color compared to the yellow adenoma. The capsule is pink. This color coding should help you learn the technique of enucleation. Once into the surgical plane all the way around the lobe, you can begin to drop the lateral lobe down from the roof. Start at the bladder neck at 1 o'clock and laser back towards the viru. Stop lasering and come back to the viru to check your orientation if you start to feel lost. Just as in a real prostate, once you are in the correct plane, gentle blunt pressure with the scope can peel the lobe off the capsule. See if you can create a situation where you can laser continuously from the bladder neck at around 6 o'clock up and around to 12 o'clock. Practice lasering in both a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Once you have dissected around the lobe completely, give it a gentle push with the scope to move it through the bladder neck and into the bladder. It's easier to enucleate the median lobe after the first lateral lobe in this model. As the five o'clock bladder neck incision was done during the enucleation of the left lateral lobe, it is now necessary only to make the seven o'clock incision. Keep cutting deeper down into the tissue until you reach the white surgical plane or the pink capsule. 
Once you reach the capsule with both B and I's, connect them just proximal to the viru with a horizontal incision. Once you are in the surgical plane, use the scope to gently wedge underneath the median lobe and peel it up towards the bladder neck. You will need to stop lasering from time to time to bluntly peel the lobe up. This model has a realistic bladder neck edge. Once you reach the bladder neck, be careful not to advance the laser fiber beyond it. There are no ureteric orifices in the model, but in real life, these can be quite close to the bladder neck edge. Inspect the anatomy of the right lateral lobe and plan the first incision before lasering. Dissect around the outside of the lobe at the level of the verru in a clockwise direction. This should detach it from the sphincter. Remember to look for the white tissue that signals it that you are in the surgical plane. Take the opportunity again on this side to practice gentle blunt dissection with the scope. I'm using laser settings of energy 1 joule and rate 20 hertz to give 20 watts for this simulation. However, any other combination of settings giving up to 100 watts could also be used. Take another opportunity to dissect along the edge of the bladder neck, taking care not to pass beyond it and into the bladder. This model offers realistic laser tissue interaction, anatomy, particularly of the surgical enucleation plane, and haptic feedback. Although there is no simulated bleeding in this model, HOLEP is generally a relatively bloodless procedure, 
So what you see with this model is not too dissimilar to the actual real-life situation.